Ah, there we go. Some nice relaxing music. Good morning, everyone. It's around uh, two minutes to the open of London. My throat might be a little rough this morning. I've been talking a lot, filming a lot of videos. I think about 100 and almost 130 videos now in the last uh, four weeks, just under four weeks. So keeping things uh, pretty busy on the old voice, but um, thoroughly enjoying it and getting some great feedback from the community and those who have joined our Telegram group. That group is growing very rapidly as well. And uh, I'm just thrilled to have everybody uh, on board and part of this family that's growing right out of the gates here. This is the uh, the ground floor of uh, Zerillion Trading uh, as, a, as a public uh, format and just enjoying giving away uh, our knowledge and experience at no charge uh, and having a lot of fun. So it's one minute to the open here. As most of you know, if you do follow my videos and content or if you're part of the Telegram group, we are trading the NASDAQ this morning. We do trade a lot of other things too and I've traded just about everything in my career now into my fourth decade. As I'll often remind viewers because we get new viewers every day, uh, we have a 10 minute chart on the left hand side. We have a one minute chart on the right hand side and that's about it. Pretty simple stuff. There are no indicators on these charts except for this EMA. That's a 20 EMA on the right hand side on the one minute chart. It doesn't matter what uh, period you use. I just happen to use a 20. You could use a 10, a 15, a 25, a 30, maybe a 50, even a 100 if you want. Uh, we're looking for relative deviations from that EMA. It's not so much about the 20. I just happen to use that one. Okay. This doesn't have to be rocket science. There's no magic in these particular chart formats either. Um, I could use a 15 minute chart on the left or a 30 or even a one hour chart. But 10 seems to be a happy medium where we can get some trades and extract profits here in a scalping type format. But the principles we talk about will apply to any time frame. And I hope you can see that and I hope you'll understand that as you enjoy our expanding content here over the next few uh, weeks and months and potentially even years. We'll see. I'll keep doing this as long as I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun for me. And um, when I stop enjoying it, I'll just probably stop doing it and focus on other things. But uh, having a lot of fun and I'm glad you're a part of it. All right. What are we doing here? The first candle has opened on the uh, NASDAQ. Nothing really happening. It's just kind of sitting there in the middle of this range. You'll see that we are range bound. We have been through the entire Asian session. That blue, that dark blue background there. Uh, is Asia. We're still, of course, in Asia. It hasn't closed yet. Um, we started that, you know, at 8 p.m. Uh, last night. Uh, New York time. I'm in New York time, by the way. So it's 3.01 a.m. for me. Uh, very early in the morning. Most of the world here is still very much asleep. But I usually wait for this first 10-minute candle to play out before even considering taking a trade. If you do watch my videos, you'll see that sometimes I do take a trade within that first 10 minute uh, candle, but that's because there's a very specific setup leading into the London Open for me to do that. And the same is true later on, on the New York Open, where I'll typically wait for that first 10 minute candle to complete, but sometimes I'll make exceptions. And I always explain exactly why I've made those exceptions, and uh, people, typically, people typically get it, they understand why I've done that. Just waiting now and watching. I'll also occasionally uh, take you it's pushing up there now in the one minute. It looks like a huge candle, but it, it's kind of zoomed in there. You'll see the 10 minute really hasn't moved that much and we're still in that range. But occasionally I'll take you over to this uh, the screen as well. These are, This is what I call the four sisters. These are four indices in North America and one in Europe. And uh, here we go. I'm just going to stretch them out here a little bit so we can see what's going on. We have the NASDAQ on the far left, then the Dow to the right, S&P 500 to the right of that, and then the DAX, the German index to the far right. Give us a little bit of European. Uh, this is the market that's actually open, by the way. The, obviously, the U.S. doesn't open until 9.30. It's only 3 o'clock in the morning right now. So it gets, you know, six hours to go. Um, but you'll see they're moving. This is the futures market, right? And they're doing exactly the same thing as the DAX is, which is the open market, right? So people often ask me, why are you trading the NASDAQ? At three o'clock in the morning, the market doesn't even open until 9:30 uh, New York time, and that's true. But then the futures market has become very efficient, and this is the futures market discounting what is going to, what did they, what is expected to happen later on. And so we can we can participate in that. Uh, if you trade CDs, you might not have as much liquidity, but this is what I do. I'm considering switching to the DAX or the FTSE to make it easier for. 
uh, everybody to kind of follow along and I might do that it's all the same stuff guys look this is price action right and you'll see here this blue line is the London Open you'll notice that all four of these indices are doing pretty much the same thing so I look for synchronicity and congruency and possible divergence between these to garner clues as to what the next move may in fact be I'm going to bring you back to the main screen now back to the 10 minute chart on the uh, left hand side let me just put that up here so you can see that see on the bottom of the screen there you see 10 minutes and then one minute on the right hand side just to remind you of what we're looking at I'm going to expand the 10 minute for a second here and just show you the zones that I drew ahead of time and I sent these out to my telegram group and you're welcome to join us there in cerulean trading and telegram the link is in my in the description the link is also on Twitter and it's very easy to get to um, but I draw these out I send them to the group ahead of time so they can get some structure perspective just in terms of my you know some of my opinion on, on structure obviously there's no real right or wrong uh, I think you'll find these to be very accurate if you watch my videos how prices react at these levels and what have you but that's just from years of experience you know although the truth is like this is not rocket science drawing support and resistance is really one of the first things I believe every trader should learn how to do and I've uh, I've got a whole um, playlist on YouTube how to draw zones you can watch me do it live in real time and uh, you'll see how I think about it coming into the market every day with naked charts right there's nothing on these charts when I come in it looks like this that's what it looks like when I come in just a session markers around the back there this is Asia this is London and this is New York yesterday and now we're in Asia and London has just started you see the change of color there right pretty simple so this first candle still playing out there's four minutes and 40 seconds left in this candle but I've done I've gone and uh, marked up these zones this is chart mapping right I've mapped the charts these are called the czar zones as people are <laughs> calling them in my telegram group I think it's quite funny it's very simple stuff no rocket science here at all uh, but very powerful tools very powerful in terms of uh, building uh, building wealth okay so we're still stuck in this range this first 10 minute candle by the way for me becomes the opening range right it'll look like this and it will expand if, if that candle expands before it closes in four minutes the opening range will expand right I have this actually as I as a market there we go open range no trades that's a general rule sometimes I will trade within the open range but uh, in this particular case it's not likely I can even extrapolate this or expand this way out to here um, because you can see we have all this you know this rejection here and this rejection here so resistance 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 in this open uh, open range candle I said these idea ideas all out to my telegram group ahead of time just to make it really easy for them to think about this in a uh, practical way these arrows by the way are not predictions they're simply identifying areas where I believe that prices are likely to flow very freely and even very quickly given the clean traffic to the left you'll see up here too see that clean traffic even this behind it is relatively clean there's obviously resistance back here you could mark that out just to let your brain see this and remember there may be a hesitation there right but if you're new to this and don't understand the zones just go watch my playlist on drawing zones and you'll very quickly understand how to do it that's all just for free you know just go and learn and uh, begin to profit from it so for me to take a trade here I would need at bare minimum a break out of the uh, initial candle which will mean on the next candle or beyond and a break out of this range it's likely to be to the top side uh, for now otherwise it would need to be way down here for me to consider taking shorts and I don't care which way it is I don't mind taking longs or shorts it's whatever the market wants to do the market is the leader of the dance and I'm just here to, f to follow and um, you know it took me a few years in the beginning well a few months I guess it was my first year of trading in the late 1980s that's how old I am 
I had big shoulders and big hair like most people did back then. Um, but to uh, believe what the market was telling me and not trying to tell it what to do. It takes humility. It takes, uh, it takes the ability to, to accept that the market is so much more powerful than you are. And I can assure you, it is. The market will very quickly destroy your wealth, take it away, um, blow your account if you don't respect risk. I mean, two of the most important words you can ever learn in trading is respect risk. Uh, believe the market. Those are the three more words if you want, right? Watching this candle close now. We got 45 seconds left. Let's see if we can close above and outside of this range. seconds left 15 seconds left and it's still up as you can see stuck in this range looking to push up really would like to give it an attempt but notice how prices rejected here prices rejected here and as we speak prices are rejecting here that candle is closed the first 10 minutes new one has begun this might be the push-up candle We'll see if there's a bottom wick here. This thing could push up. This is a nice little zone to um, potentially fill. It's quite a nice zone. It's a 63 point zone right there. We'll see if we can get up there. I'm just going to send this off to my Telegram group as we're speaking. You can see the types of things that I like to um, I like to send to them as clues to what I believe might be happening next. And many of them will participate. They know exactly what I look for in my uh, my trade setups, in my entries. <clears throat> and then we'll participate and uh, often extract profits as a result. This could push up now, close that wick and even blast beyond, but it's not a setup for me yet. Because we didn't get that close outside of the range and I always look for that. This could blow up here and take 60 points without, without me, so to speak. It's not really without me, but um, it just means that I wouldn't be participating in that move. But another move comes next, right? There's another move around the corner. is rejecting this could very well be the rest this little pullback before it tries to to break or before it does break through we'll see he's watching this now for some clues Great to have you with us. You'll notice that there's no hype on this channel. I know, from what I understand, there are a lot of streams out there and and, um, and trading channels that are that get pretty pretty crazy and they have men, multiple guests and moderators and they're all chatting about God knows what and video games and <laughs> and nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a lot of fun stuff and what have you. But we're just about trading here and uh, a nice uh, positive vibe. We don't talk about politics or pandemics or religion or anything that can get uh, you know can 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 bring conflict and and uh, disagreement and things of that nature it's not interested in any of that we have a positive vibe nice relaxing music in the background only one voice it's mine whether it's raspy and, uh, or not <laughs> you get the idea 
but it's just that we try to really stay on track here. You can see what's happening here, and uh, what's happening here is not a whole lot. <laughs> There's not much happening here. So guys, I probably won't actually keep you very long here. I think this is probably going to stay range bound for a while. This could be the, like I mentioned, this could be the pullback and then the maybe ready to blast. But I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for uh, before I sign off here. I don't want to just leave you, leave you hanging, but I think this has been a good chat about the opening range and what I'm looking for. But here's what I'm actually looking for here. If I'm going to take a long, I would need a break above here on the 10 minute chart and a closing candle and then a uh, ideally an up, a top wick on that candle and then a pullback and then a, a break above that prior wick. And that could be my entry. Now I need to see other things too on the one minute chart. Ideally there's, there's a structure here that looks resourceful, like a nice pullback to the 20 and beyond. And then a beginning, a sense of a beginning a resurgence or a secondary attempt to, to get through here. Now, we would obviously be up here if we got a breakout, but you get the idea. So be looking for that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking anything in here whatsoever. This is a range uh, bound piece here and uh, no, in no interest. But down here will be the opposite of what I just said up there at that break and close, tail, and then break below. This is also a very nice range, probably about 75 uh, points. Oh, more than that actually 99 points 100 points and um, you could take a piece of that I usually wouldn't go for the entire range when it's that big uh, because that early on prices have a habit of rejecting mid-range and so that's my thinking guys uh, I'll leave you with that enjoy your day I'll be back as trades and setups happen I'll be sending them to my telegram group come on by and join us if you have a positive attitude if you have a beginner's mind and if you're willing to share and learn as I am I learn every day from our experienced, we have very experienced traders in the group and brand new traders who also can teach me and uh, we can learn from each other. Um, and with that guys, have an amazing day. We'll chat with you. Hopefully we'll see you in New York later. That's in about, you know, just under six hours more. Uh, it's more than that. And uh, more, six hours and 15 minutes. But we will see you soon guys. Have an amazing day. Take care now. Bye-bye.